over the course of a weekend, uh, James Harden signed a big fat contract with the Houston Rockets, and he's going to make like $230 million. And um, a lot of people are like, wow, wow, that's, that's unbelievable. I would actually tell you that NBA contracts are really great contracts because the most you can sign for is like five years. Now, this is one of my beliefs in life. I don't ever go on cruise ships. Now, we're in Miami right now, which is sort of the cruise ship capital of North America. A lot of the cruise ships go out of the port over here. I don't do cruises. Christine and I were talking about this this morning. The reason I don't do cruises is you're at sea. And then you'll see these people that go on two-week cruises. And the first day, there's salmonella. The second day, there's a storm. The third day, there's sunburn. And you're out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. You're writing vacations for people worldwide right now while Mr. Worldwide is performing behind us. I don't. My, here's my personality. I don't like to be trapped. So I don't go on cruises. I wouldn't want to be. What if you're from Kansas and you don't have the ocean and you've never been in a boat and you book a cruise with your wife and two days in, it's like, oh, I get seasick. And you're literally in, I don't know, you're off the coast of, uh, you're in the Caribbean. Yes. You're trapped. So what I do is I go on two-day vacations. So let's say my wife get in, get, and I get into a fight, I can just get in a plane and leave her. So that's the key, really, to vacations, is doing very, very quick vacations. My kids are obnoxious. My wife starts hating me. I can just say, Southwest Airlines, here I come. So my whole point is, in the NBA, in the NBA, let's say you sign a bad contract. They're only five years. In baseball, Robinson Cano's is 10. Pujols is 10. David Price is 7. I have no problem paying James Harden $230 million. Because I know at the end of this contract, James Harden, even if he got injured, is still going to be awesome. My bigger concern is signing a 10-year contract, and I can't get out of it. So I think people get too worked up on NBA contracts. If I owned a team, I have no problem, even if you sign a terrible contract. Let's take the Lakers. They signed the Mozgov contract and the Luau Deng contract. They're not good contracts. They already had somebody take the Mozgov contract off their hands. Well, I agree with you that James Harden is worth every single penny, but you realize there's the flip side to this, that if your vacation is awesome, you might want to stay for seven days rather than two. Or maybe James Harden is really great and you'd like to keep him for longer without having to sign another contract worth more money. But I think if I lived in the world of ownership or general managership, that I would rather take the risk of he might leave me, I'll just treat him really well, and the organization will surround him with the best possible players, and I'll treat somebody really well. What I do worry about secondarily with baseball contracts is complacency. That's why I've never thought I would be a good broadcaster with a 10-year contract. I'd get lazy. Sure. Is that the short of the contract that forces me to go to work, grind, have to impress my bosses, have to be a good teammate. And so in the end, whenever I read an NBA contract, people just freak out. And my takeaway is, no, it's okay. You, As a fan, what you should root against is getting trapped. And if you have a 10-year contract, I mean, that Albert Pujols contract will now limit what the Angels can do in their bullpen or maybe get a great third baseman. That's scary as a fan. That's when fans lose. Fans don't lose. Even the Lakers right now feel good about their future, and they have that Lou Aldane contract, which is a terrible contract. So you want to go on vacations with an opt-out clause, essentially. I think if I ever went on a cruise, Christine, I would want a helicopter opt-out three days in. Okay, I don't know what Cruise Line offers that, but I would recommend you stay away from cruises and take a longer vacation. Now, Sometimes it, you need it.